Greetings wonderful people, my name is Iwan, and this is how my casual puzzle game looks like after roughly two weeks of game development. It doesn't look very different from the state it was in the last video, and one of the reasons for that is that I was working on assets for my Steam page. I really don't like spending time on stuff that doesn't make my game any better, which is one of the reasons why my older Steam games still don't have library assets. So the first change I made this week was the ability to zoom in and out. I've always had problems with fitting Unity UI on the screen and figuring out camera sizes. And with that feature in place, players will be able to choose exactly how big they want the blocks to be. The main real change is the addition of new particles. I wanted to add some ambience to the game and I remembered seeing some absolutely gorgeous particles that breathe life in the end is nigh, so I tried to make something similar. I also played around with the spawn rate of those cracked floor tiles because too many of them broke the magical and cartoonish immersion I aim for. I didn't manage to finish the block variation this week, but I made a sketch of how one of the other game skins will look like. After that I tried to make clusters look more lively by adding animation for placed and removed blocks, plus one that will be played when the level is finished. Err, uh, no, maybe not like that. Yep, th that, that looks better. Finally, I added the cursor back into the game because not seeing it make the grid line movement look very abrupt, and it, in turn, irritate the players. And that's it for today. If you enjoy my content, please consider supporting me by wishlisting plasters on Steam. It doesn't really cost you anything, and I would be extremely happy if you did that. And I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.